Alright, this is my first tutorial. I'm going to show you how to remove the heat sink and thermal compound from your graphics card and reapply them in order to reduce temperatures. Uh, I'm working with an NVIDIA GTS 250. Mine's from PNY. You're going to need a few things to start out with. First off is, of course, your graphics card. They're all going to be a little different. Um, you're also going to need a Phillips head screwdriver and then something to remove the thermal compound with. I use isopropyl rubbing alcohol, 90% or higher, but they also sell uh, thermal compound remover. Uh, I use a coffee filter to wipe the thermal compound off. Again, you can also use things like um, Q-tips, paper towels, uh, but those tend to leave a little bit more lint, so I opt for the coffee filter. Start by removing all your screws in order to separate the board from your heat sink and then gently but firmly wiggle back and forth until you can separate the two pieces you want to be careful so that you don't crack your board and then remove the fan cord unplug it from the board you could have done that before but I decided to do it after as long as you're careful with it it shouldn't matter uh, here's the heat sink and that's what we're removing is that big gray square and oh, here we have the graphics chip start by taking the uh, cloth that you decided on and the removal goo <laughs> that you decided on and start wiping away at the thermal compound. It's going to take a while to get them clean, but be diligent and be patient. And then go ahead and do the same thing to the board or to the graphics chip. And then once you're done, it should look something like this. Mine's still a little dirty, but I'll fix it later. And then here's the graphics chip and board nice and shiny and clean then go ahead and take your thermal compound you can pick any brand you like I am using Arctic Silver 5 and I use the dot or P application method um, I think it covers more space on your graphics chip and seems to spread more evenly there are a bunch of different other ways you can look up to how to do it, but this is the one that I prefer. Then go ahead and take your heat sink and put it back over the top. Push down firmly and wiggle back and forth just so that you know that the thermal compound is spread nice and even over the entire chip. And then turn it over and make sure that your screw holes are aligned. If you have to move the board a little bit to make sure that they're aligned, make sure that you um, wiggle it again so that your thermal compound is redistributed. Uh, go ahead and rescrew in the board again. Plug your fan cable back into the board. And you should be done. Thanks for watching.